This is a short video on um, convergence of a sequence in a topological space. So convergence of a sequence. And I think what I'd like to do is to kind of cut this into two parts. So the nicest topological space that we have is a metric space. So a metric space, and I want to, again, maybe remind you, this is a nice topological space. This is where we kind of develop a lot of our intuition from. And then what we want to do is just generalize maybe results from metric spaces uh, to see what's a more general setting where these things apply and what are some of the weirder stuff that we get. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll um, tell you about convergence in the metric space setting. And then what I'll try to do is to try to generalize it to the topological space setting. So generalize. Maybe what I'll do is I'll also call this like X and I'll say D is how I'll measure distances. And then later on, what if I just had somebody named X with a topology T? Okay. And so those will be, I'll try to cut this in half. And so uh, let's see what else should I tell you about. If I have this sequence here, just so we get used to some notation, we'll write a sequence this way. And just remember what it is. It's just a list of points, a list of points, say X1, X2, blah, blah, blah. Keeps going from your space X. Okay, and so what's it mean to for a sequence to converge to a limit, to have a limit in a metric space? So I'll start over on this side. So just I'll add that in while I'm over here. Topological space. Okay, so over here in a metric space, we could say that your sequence Xn uh, converges to L, where L is um, some other point in your space. Or I guess we'll use, we'll use X converges to someone just named X, where X is just some other point in X, um, if the following happens. So again, we're gonna take advantage of the fact that I can tell you how far apart points are from each other in a metric space. And so um, given some real number, epsilon, that's bigger than zero, uh, what should we be able to do? We should be able to say that there exists some natural number n um, such that for all natural numbers, little n, that are larger than big N, the distance between all those points in your sequence whose index is larger than this special one we found, the distance between all those points in my sequence and this thing x is smaller than epsilon. So let me kind of try to draw you a picture about uh, what's going on here, say. and. Uh, Maybe I'll try to think about it in the plane, say. And so here's my point x. And uh, what we're saying is we should be able to put any open ball around x that we want. And again, open ball because I'm in a metric space. And so I'm telling you that the radius of this ball is epsilon. So think about this green set as b, d, x, epsilon. So what the rest of this says is that we should be able to go far enough out in this list of points that eventually from like here over, I'm guaranteed that all those points in the sequence land inside this open ball. So there should exist some index n so that for every index larger than big N, all of those points in your sequence land in that open ball. And so like those orange points, the point is there's, they start to cluster around X. So no matter how small the window is around the limit, uh, again, eventually all the points in the sequence are gonna fall, fall in there. So eventually all, I mean, there's some index so that for every point after that index, they will fall in there. Okay, so we use this idea that it makes sense to, to measure how far apart two points are from each other to talk about uh, what a limit is in this case. And so what we'd like to do is we'd like to kind of generalize this. So like in a metric space, I've got the idea of an open ball. Whereas in a topological space, there might not be such an idea. You know, I don't have a way to tell you about how far points are from each other. Uh, but remember, um, the whole point of a topology is I'm gonna tell you, okay, here's a bunch of subsets of X that I'm gonna call open. And so what I'd like to do is to maybe generalize a little bit of what's going on over here, just to this, uh, this setting here, where instead of balls, I'm just telling you that these are the things that I'll call open. And so uh, now I'll write down, how do we say, what's it mean to say that a sequence Xn converges to X, uh, or again, maybe X is some point in your space. So what does it mean to say, how do we define convergence in this more general setting of a topological space? Um, we say that this happens if 
for each um, neighborhood of x. So I should give each neighborhood. So for each neighborhood, call them somebody like u of x. I'll write it all down first, and then I'll try to talk slowly about each part of what I'm about to say. So each neighborhood u of x, um, again, same idea. You know, there exists. I don't know why I used the symbol over here, but decided to write it here anyway. Some natural number n um, such that uh, again xn falls inside of u for all um, n larger than that capital n there. And uh, let me try to draw you a picture over here, say two. And maybe I won't try to draw the plane, so we're not tempted to like do distances, say. Um, but let's say. Let's say that this goofy thing is x, and let's say that here's my point, little x here. And I'll use uh, orange again to talk about the sequence x in. But what is this trying to say? This is trying to say for each neighborhood u of x. So what does that mean? You're going to look at your topology. You're going to think about what are all the sets in the topology that contain this point x. And so I'm going to draw you one. I'm going to say, OK. Let's say that this is such a yet. And I'm trying to, again, emphasize it. I'm not saying you have an open ball. Again, this neighborhood of a point is just some member of your topology that contains your point x. So we should be able to pick any one of these. And eventually, the same idea. We should be able to find some index so that if I go far enough out of my sequence, and again, say from like the orange, wherever that is, say that's like x, x sub 1 million, maybe that's how far I need to go x sub 1 million 1 and onwards should land inside of this purple window. So eventually, same idea, all the points with a big enough index should land inside of this set here. And I think that uh, we should have kind of the same idea again, that I don't care how small this neighborhood u is, again, eventually all the points should land in there. And I hope that you see that it's a similar kind of, uh, we've kind of generalized this notion of clustering getting closer to that point x without having actually like talked about a distance at all. So we can talk about what closeness means in some way. Um, we've, we've taken what's important about being points being close to each other, and, and we've kind of defined that concept without a distance at all. So to, to give you some examples, uh, kind of a, a, an easy example of um, convergent sequence in a, in a topological space that maybe we're not used to. So like all of the stuff that you did in a calculus class, say, that's all this metric space kind of idea because you're using sequences to compute all your limit, to, to use all your limit laws and whatnot. Um, so that's all great. And again, metric spaces are just nice topological spaces. So let's look at like kind of a weirder topological space. So for example here, what if you had X is just any set, I don't care what it is. And let's say T is the trivial topology. And remember what that was, there's just two things. We're just gonna have the open set and X itself are the only two things in T. And so in this case, we're also gonna let XN just be any sequence of points that's from your set. Be any sequence. So maybe let me give you like a, let's use my favorite set. Okay, uh, about one, two, three. That's a cool set. Maybe, let's make it more weird, it's called ABC just to, so you don't think there's anything going on with the numbers. So let's let xn be any sequence then. So uh, in that case, uh, maybe I'll say that, uh, well, I'll just, yeah, xn be any sequence. Cool, so there'll be any, you know, you've got the list and it's just a bunch of a's, b's, and c's, be any sequence. And so I want to just try to demonstrate what is this definition over here on the right side telling me about? And this thing converges for sure. And so let x be any point of there. So x is like a, b, or c, doesn't matter. And so x is a, b, or c. So then um, xn is going to converge to x. Doesn't matter what the sequence is that comes from here. If this is what we're using as the topology, then it'll certainly, it has to converge um, to this point x here. And it doesn't really matter what it is too. So maybe if I think about y, and so let's see, what should go on? So for each neighborhood, u of x, the thing that I have circled over here in orange. All right, so remember these neighborhoods come from the topology. Well, the only neighborhood that contains this point x 
this is the whole set itself. And so is it true that eventually all the points in the sequence uh, land inside the set itself? And uh, yeah, like all these points in my sequence here be any sequence where, uh, maybe I should emphasize it, um, where are we picking these different things from? Be any sequence in X. So again, it's just a list of A's, B's, and C's, and you can repeat them and they can switch around. There's no method to the madness. And so Y, the only U in T that contains X is capital X. So XN is in U for all natural numbers n. And so this thing kind of satisfies that definition vacuously. But again, I think it just kind of gives you an idea how to go through the motions of how to use the definition of convergence in a topological space.